Hello beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. You already know if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you too. Same as the over 100 videos now in Shopify customization. And yes, they were mostly requests from subscribers. Some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking for. Actually, if you are interested in being an expert or just learning how to customize Shopify, on Shopify I mean, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It's completely free. I don't sell any courses. I don't have any paid memberships or anything like that. All the content I do provide, I do post for free on the channel. You just have to skip around some ads and stuff. That's the case for most of the videos, I guess. And here I am again, back with another request from a subscriber. Actually, I know he's subscribed this time, which is how to remove continue shopping on the cart on your Shopify store. I mean the, the cart page. And you should actually do that if you don't want to do that. If you sell like one product, you have one product Shopify store, which is most dropshippers do. That's a must actually. And even if you have multiple products on your Shopify store, maybe consider doing so. Because that button will actually stop someone from going back from the cart so he can proceed to the checkout. And in this video, I will show you that how to do that by a very simple trick. You don't have to do any code or add any custom code or anything like that. It's completely the opposite. We will do it by a very tricky and clever way. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard in here. And they have down team, which is the team I do demonstrations on, including the one that you're watching right now. But I have the down uh, version 15, which is the last one as if now. But if I scroll down a little bit, you can see I have every other free team available here. I mean the most used ones, which is Day, Sense, Refresh, Spotlight, and Trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try each trick on my channel on all of these teams. As I said in the video, I do demonstration on down team, but so I don't bore people out in my videos, I do actually uh, do the trick behind the scenes on each one of these. So even if you are new, not using down, it should work for you just fine and even if it didn't drop me a comment below i will be happy to help you out and i have to mention this in each one of my videos so people can have peace of mind that this video will actually help you out not just waste your time so let's just quit talking a second time and just get to it let me show you actually what i'm talking about so by the way if you are interested in doing anything on this shopify store you see the uh, moving announcement bar, the gradient color on it, the search bar right here with the, the transparent header and not transparent when you scroll down. All of this I did it in videos, everything you see here. So let's just even like custom search bar. Yes, I did it in a video. So let me add this product. Let me add it to the cart. Here we go. And again, if you are interested in changing the color for the cart count icon on your Shopify store, make sure to check out the channel. I, I, I will give up now. I will not say anything more. <laughs> I, I apologize. So as you can see, this is continue shopping that we need to remove or we're going to remove. So we will remove this button so we will not be here anymore. So the customer will have either checkout or nothing else, right? And that's what we need. So we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So let's just get back to Shopify dashboard. And the next thing we're going to do is click on the three dots on left of customize and click on the last option, which is edit default team content. It might seem silly, but it actually works. I mean, the trick we're going to do right now. And simply search for the thing you're trying to remove or, <laughs> or edit or change. So continue, right? Continue and let's do shopping. Continue shopping. Ah, let me add space. Need space. Here we go. Continue shopping. And not the, the first one and the second one. It's actually the last one, which is in their general here. So simply remove the whole thing in here and click on save button. Then get back in here and reload the page. <laughs> it's gone. As you can see, no more continue shopping. I cannot click on it because it doesn't exist anymore. And that's how you remove continue shopping from the product, I mean Shopify cart page, sorry, on your Shopify store. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.